Hello, uh, good day to everybody. This is again your teacher, Mr. Orban, and we are here to discuss lesson 15, or it's the third lesson of uh, module C, Living Online, but in the whole IC3, it's lesson 15, and entitled Digital Communication. Now let me start sharing our PowerPoint. Okay, so this is digital communication. What we're going to discuss today is to explain the difference between real-time and delayed communications. Describe email and texting. Select the best communications tool for a given situation. Describe various phone calling technologies. Manage status and profile settings in Skype. Conduct group conversations in Skype. Describe how to conduct group conversations in good Google Hangouts. Describe the benefits and function of online conferencing tools. And describe the benefits and function of business collaboration tools. We also have to describe the distance learning technology technologies and describe audio, video, and live streaming. So let's start. So this topic, so last topic that you have learned from me are about um, the other purpose of the internet, which is searching information. So you search go using Google or different search search websites or search Google, uh, search engines. Uh, now the other part is to communicate with another person, okay, which is far from you. So being online or using the internet uh, another purpose or another reason why you are connected to the internet is to communicate. So we have different types of communication and it includes real time and delayed communications. So just a very simple, uh, uh, very simple concepts. Okay, when you say real time or synchronous, Okay, uh, you send and receive information at the same time or real time or again, uh, he is actually there at the same time. Even you're far away, two hours, four hours, eight hours differences, it means that you are both awake at that time or you're communicating at that time. Okay. So the late communication is that the only classification of this is you're communicating but you're not expecting the other person to be there at the same time. So you send email or you send SMS, but you are not expecting him or her to reply as soon as possible. OK, now let's proceed. OK, asynchronous communication tools examples are electronic mail and SMS text messages. OK, so when you send SMS, it doesn't mean that he will reply as soon as possible. When you send an email, it doesn't uh, necessary that he's already there. Okay, although there are times that it happens that you are communicating back and forth. Okay, uh, it seems that you are doing it in real time. Of course, that's not going to be avoided. But uh, this is the characteristic when you say asynchronous communication tools, uh, personal messages, or yeah, uh, maybe. Yeah, but most likely personal messages and ends up in chatting. So when you're chatting at the same time, chatting is actually real time. But when you just send messages, personal messages uh, or IM or DM, uh, then you're 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 doing it delayed or asynchronous. OK, uh, how do you use text messaging effectively? Because text messaging have 10 baisa here in Oman cost. So you want to, you know, send messages if you want to uh, save some money. Uh, make sure you 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 type it 160 messages, uh, characters in one message maximum. OK, you can send a text or to a contact at any time. You have no way of knowing whether or he or she is available when you send your text message. That's why it's asynchronous. You may receive an immediate response to a text message, but that is not guaranteed. Always remember that if a situation is best resolved by speaking to someone directly, use the telephone or seek 
seek face-to-face -face meet, meeting. Okay, when do you text or when do you not text? Use text if you must communicate but are in a place or situation where speaking out loud will be inconsiderate or indiscreet. Yes, where will that be? Lecture? No, do not do that. Even in a, in a lecture, you should not send SMS or uh, what we say text or chat using your mobile or smartphone. Okay, uh, do not text while driving. Do not do that. Avoid sending and responding to text if you are in a social setting. Avoid sending text messages late at night. Uh, yeah, we nowadays we cannot avoid that. But I am not expecting any response from you when I send email in the morning. Okay, or uh, what whenever. Okay, but do not try, try not av to avoid. You are in an airplane that is taxiing or taking off or landing. Do not attempt to send SMS. Okay, this is a little bit of etiquette, uh, meaning ethics or something you must follow in a good behavior. Okay, uh, consider the frequency of your messages. Uh, example, if it is your boss, it's unlikely that you're going to send SMS that much. Okay, or especially if it is personal. Okay, be clear to reduce the chance you will be misunderstood. Do not use all uppercase letters. This is true with any messages, especially the email. Do not use all uppercase letters. It seems like you're shouting. Okay, do not send bullying or harassing texts. Refrain from using abbreviations and acronyms. Yes, LOL. Uh, what else? Uh, not that familiar, okay, because not all of us understood each other when you send abbreviation and acronyms. Uh, except that, for example, GUTech is an abbreviation, so it's short for German University of Technology. So I think it's uh, it's it's just accepted if we are going to um, uh, use GUTech. Uh, the formal abbreviations like NASA, NASA. I think that's gonna be. Um, uh, an accepted abbreviation or acronyms. Refrain from using emoticons in business or school communications. Sometimes I use this, you know, just to lighten, lighten the mood that we're when sending something to students. Try to respond to messages in a timely manner. Always follow the rules and guidelines established by your school or organization. Okay, sometimes there's just no substitute for real-time communications. Yes, that's correct. When you send a message, do not expect that you will get a reply. So if you want to talk to him, and very important, you cannot wait, call, okay? Uh, but, of course, choose the timing, especially if you do not know really that person, like, for example, a teacher and a student relationship. We cannot expect a call at 10 in the evening or maybe even 9 in the evening or even after office hours that they, he or she will answer, okay? So, for example, me, I do not expect any student to call me at night, okay? Uh, you can leave a message and that's it. Sometimes there's uh, this, this, this technologies include phone calls, phone calls, conference calls, online meeting, video conferences, instant messaging. So, sometimes I will need to talk to you. I will send a message on MS Teams and I will tell you if I can call or not. If not, it's okay. If Yes, then better, okay? Uh, phone calls are personal and empowering are a good chat and a, uh, this is a good choice when you are communicating with someone whom do you, you do not know. You must convey a complicated idea, okay? It's very, very difficult to explain or in an SMS. It's a long uh, discussion, then it must be a call from the phone call. You require an immediate response and you need that to get a message to someone immediately. So that's when you use a phone call. A conference call, meaning many people in one call, can be done. Okay, if, if, Of course, if you are in a team, in a group, uh, you can use a conference call. How about WebEx? WebEx is a hosted subscription service that you can use to conduct online meetings. Uh, you can speak, share files, share visuals. There are a lot of uh, tools already right now. MS Teams, 
is our go-to uh, communication uh, web visual with we have with voice and video uh, yeah video conferencing virtual conferencing tool that we are using microsoft teams uh, zoom is there uh, google classroom is there also and different things even hangouts skype okay so skype more than just an im more than just an instant messaging so you can chat you can voice you can video call of course it's the same as the others whatsapp also uh facebook messenger also and so on okay you can adjust your status in skype or in any im in any tools like this in any communication tools you can have online away, do not disturb, invisible offline. So even in our big blue button, uh, you have this away, I think. Okay, away um, status uh, and others. Okay, so offline also and so on. I'm seeing offline because maybe you're, yeah, you're, you're idle or maybe you lag off. I don't know what happened, but sometimes I see your status offline. Okay, managing your Skype profile, although we are not having an example, but just, just try to look at this and read it. Uh, I think all of this managing Skype profile and LinkedIn profile, uh, you can do this in the practice, okay? There is uh, some practice tests, uh, practice questions here. Okay, group conversations, anything you type and send in a group conversation is and receive everyone in the group. Like for example, in our MS Teams, when we do that. Okay, so this, when we go to our team, section one, section two, section three, let's give an example. Okay, this is a new conversation, then you can type and then everybody will see, okay? You can add people to a conversation at any time. So I can also do that in Microsoft Teams on chat. Okay, I can have a new chat and then group. I will just find who's, who are these uh, participants, okay? Now, Google Hangouts is another tool from Google that you can use maybe with video and audio call also. Uh, messaging, chatting, and so on and so forth. Sharing files, sharing videos and audios and so on. Okay, so another part, you can try this again when you have uh, uh, your practice test, there will be an example of this. Uh, now, online conferencing is well suited, uh, suited for exchanging digital files, sending instant messages, messages and sharing screens. So again, you have those tools, even Hangouts can be used, but we have also, of course, Microsoft Teams, a big blue button example, Zoom, uh, Skype, I think, okay, it's for business and so on. Skype for business. Just about anything you can do on your computer or on the internet on your own, you can do with others through online conferencing. Voice over IP conferencing. It's the same idea, although this is concentrated using voice. Now, earlier, uh, when, we, when I discussed living online, the concept of voice over IP is the reverse of what we're doing in the internet. Remember that using, uh, to be connected to the internet, you need, you need a telephone line. I already mentioned that in uh, lesson number one of this living online. Uh, the basic structure of communication in a country is the telephone line then comes the internet okay now all this internet has a telephone line telephone numbers that they were given to you okay nowadays since the internet is faster than the telephone just there are some technology because of the technology why it is faster now the the idea there is that uh since internet is using packet okay uh, to transmit data uh, it is dividing uh, the information into packets. Now we are doing the voice, okay, to run over 
the internet protocol. Okay, so uh, example is the IP phone that we're using in our office. Uh, these are all through the internet. We're not having exactly directly to the internet, uh, to the phone line, telephone line. Okay, so with the use of the voice of, over IP, we can have uh, conferencing. Many participants will be involved. Now, of course, the same concept as video conferencing here, we only can see each other. Uh, the, the advantage of this, of course, is with the use of this video conferencing, we do not have to meet face to face. Okay, good timing for now because we have uh, the pandemic that social distancing has to be, um, or yeah, social distance has to be done or observed or yeah, implemented. So we use all of this Skype, Google Hangouts, FaceTime, and so on. Okay, what are the different collaboration tools? When you say collaboration, this is where we all work together as a group, okay? Uh, these tools provide for communications, centralized document access, co-authoring, intranets, and cloud storage. So your office.com, Office 365, are, is a collaboration tool, okay? So with the use of this different OneDrive, your Skype for Business, Office Suite, all of this you can use and then you can just work even online, okay, away from each other, just using the OneDrive. He can edit, you can edit uh, a file, okay. You can even edit at the same time. You all open the file at the same time uh, while you are both at home, in your home, in your own houses, okay. So that's what the collaboration is all about, okay. So SharePoint. Okay, it's a browser-based collaboration and document management platform provided by Microsoft. Uh, let me log in on my office.com and sh show it to you. So office.com, as I said, our yes. Our website or our site as a cloud site where we can collaborate. So, so these are the different. Uh, so I click the share point. Yeah. Okay, so it's just a page. Okay, where I can share different files and so on. Uh, it's a managing site web uh, page. Okay, for our office.com or office 365. Okay, Skype for Business is a communications and collaboration center. You can see which of your colleagues are available. So same thing, we have Microsoft Teams now. I think Skype for Business, yes, it's available in Office 365, but most likely we are in Microsoft Teams. Uh, then we have the different distance learning technologies, which is under the learning management system. We have the Moodle as, a, uh, as an example, and we also have the big blue button there. We have Google Classroom and so on and so forth. Okay, so nowadays this digital communications that we were discussing is up to point or on point because we have the pandemic and all of this were being utilized. Okay, so we are all familiar with that. Uh, then lastly, last topic is about streaming. Uh, you know, you have before uh, the concept of, you know, the concept of downloading wherein you're getting the file from one server, which is not from your place or outside or external. Okay, then you're downloading it into your computer. So we call it downloading or copying it to your computer. Uploading is from your co computer and then uh, saving it on their computers or server, wherever it is. Uh, example is when you're uploading an image on an Instagram. So that's the, the, the file that you have on your computer is being uploaded on the server of Instagram. Now, streaming is uh, getting all those audio or video files and playing it on your computer real time, okay? So you are just getting those files temporarily and you, will, you cannot save it, okay? So the the idea is that it will be deleted after you play it, okay? So that's what uh, streaming is all about. 
you, it's either you will use a web browser or you have you can download an application to uh, to play those uh, to play those videos and audios. Okay, so that's it for our digital communication tools or our topic in digital communications. You learned about. I explained the difference between real time and delayed communications. Describe. I describe email and texting. I select the best. I select not. I explain what's the best communication to tools for a given situation. If you want, uh, if you are sending messages, IM or text message or email, you do not expect them to reply as the same. Uh, I mean, as soon as possible or instantaneous or that time. Okay, you have to wait. You have to give them time to reply. Now for emergency, not emergency only, but very important calls that you need now, you must make a phone call. So that's what we described here. Uh, describe the various phone calling technologies, manage status and profile settings in Skype, conduct group conversations in Skype, describe how to conduct group conversations in Google Hangouts. Uh, we describe the benefits and functions of online conferencing tools, the different business collaboration tools, or we just made an example, which is your office.com. Okay, or your office 365. Uh, we describe distance learning technologies. Actually, we didn't describe that much. We know how to use it using the model and then the big blue button. That's an example. Describe audio, video and live streaming. Okay, so thank you very much for listening let me just end this uh, presentation okay thank you very much for watching the video for lesson number three or lesson number 15 of our ic3 uh, in module c living online okay so with that i thank you again and again very much see you on the next video bye